Outside my door, the oriental poppies were suffering from the latest rainstorm, so it kind of caught my eye. I decided to draw it. Welcome to the first installment of our daily sketch. I welcome you to grab a sketchbook or some paper and draw with me. I'm starting a new book. That is, if I can get the shrink wrap out of it. Anyways, I've never tried this particular brand. It seemed like a good price and it says it can take some light mixed media. Let's see, it has a smooth texture, so that's good. I'm going to be using markers. I am wondering though if the weight of the paper is too light. There wasn't actually any information in the package, so I had to guess. I couldn't open the shrink wrap. So let's see, moment of truth. I actually bought these markers and I wasn't sure. It seems a bit saturated. And oh no, yep, it's bleeding. Not a good sign. So I'll test the chisel side, the fatter side. It glides well, but mm -hmm, more bleeding. That is terrible. Well, let's continue on messing up the sketchbook. There's nothing better than just messing a new sketchbook. You kind of have to go past that pristine sense of newness. Kind of get messy. So I'm just testing the colors here in squares. We'll see what happens later on but I do not like the bleeding at all. One of the poppies caught my eyes. It was just falling onto the pathway. So I decided to draw that one and I got my trusted Faber-Castell pit pen. And that's a nice one. It doesn't usually bleed. So that's a plus. And speaking of bleeding, do the marker people need to talk with the sketchbook people or the sketchbook people need to talk with the marker people because this is not working. One either shouldn't be able to bleed through paper or the paper should be able to hold markers. It's just a terrible combination for artists. So after doing contour with the black, I am putting in some red and I'm being kind of cautious because I don't want to lose the lights here. And then I'm adding some orange to kind of blend in. I didn't quite like the colors here. They're a little bit too saturated and strong. And there isn't much leeway in terms of pressure to make things lighter or darker. So from what I've tried, I would not recommend this brand of markers just yet. Maybe when they get old, they might have more dynamic range. So I'm adding other colors here, putting some details with the fine tips. I really want to get that shape in. As for the colors, the squares, I'm just going to be doing really small, quick sketches just to get several different flowers in, kind of abstract. I am improvising here in terms of the composition, so this whole white space in the center here I do not like. I'm adding in some lettering and it fills up the space better, but I'm not quite sure about that whole page. I'm feeling like it's a failure. Okay, let's try the other side. Uh, I'm going to do black and white since I trust it more. And this side, I really want to get the volume of the flower. And I'm working since I'm working with markers, I have to be careful to not lose the freshness when I draw so things don't get too layered and we lose the lights. You always have to look for the lights to preserve them when you're working with either markers or watercolors, any kind of medium where you cannot introduce lights on top of darks. After putting in the contour lines and the lines that suggest the texture, trying to be as elegant as possible but also free, I am putting now the, the shadow areas, working from the most, the, mo the darkest areas to the midtones and so on and so forth, leaving the lighter parts white with very light 
lines that may suggest some texture. And that way I get a better volume to that flower. I'm pleased with the results of these drawings here. Adding some buds is always a good idea when you're doing botanical illustrations. In this page, I want that kind of a, mi a mixture of a, that traditional botanical illustration with a Victorian, almost like a wallpaper type of a deal. Now, one thing to remember, don't be too precious. You kind of have to let things happen, let accidents happen and work with them. That way you grow. Sketchbook is a place for experimentation. You are free to do whatever you want and you're free to fail. And speaking of failure, I although I'm liking this grayscale side of things, the colors are just not working for me. I did not like the experience of the markers. So I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to put more markers in. Why not do some oriental um, style decoration to the whole page? So I'm adding some yellow and I know you're going to think I'm crazy. I might be getting things worse and perhaps I am. And after the yellow, I'm going to be lining that with black. I am digging myself in deeper, but again, time to experiment, time to let yourself be free. When you're drawing in your sketchbook, no judgment, doesn't matter. So there it is. And it might look horrible, but I'm going to add a glaze of a brown. And I think that's going to make all the difference. At least I hope so. A glaze sort of in the same direction covering all that area this is gonna make the background recede and unify it and my idea is to tone down the colors and make them almost like a old textile or texture whenever you feel like something is not working your page your layout seems dead or busy sometimes you need contrast i kind of like what happened here so i'm gonna add some transition lines to go from one side to the other but i'm overall pleased what do you think do you think this was better or was it looking better before i don't know i like the the, the contrast i like the muted colors there and the gray side leave your comments saying what do you think now for the other side, I'll have to deal with that some other day, but never be afraid to experiment. Alright, I hope you guys liked this first installment of the sketchbook series, many more to come. If you feel inspired, and I hope you feel inspired, go draw, send me a picture to seedofchoice at gmail.com and who knows, you may appear in the show. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Remember to subscribe and tell friends and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, thank you. Oh yeah, and do the bell thing. It's really annoying. Uh, what can I do? If you don't do the bell thing, uh, my videos are going to go into the black hole of YouTube, which it's okay. I mean, not any more special than anybody else. But if you want to keep watching the videos, remember to do that. If you don't, then, well, don't. Anyways, I'm not making sense today.